How's it going everyone? Video game man I can. Boy have I got a lot of Crucible stuff for you today. If you go over to Game Informer, you'll see that there's all eight Taken King maps that have been leaked. Now, for copyright reasons, because I don't want a copyright strike, I'm not going to upload any gameplay here. I'm actually going to get anything from Game Informer. The photos are all going to come from sources that I found around Google and stuff. I am not going to post anything from Game Informer. But the link will be down below in the description if you want to go and check the gameplay. It's only about 20 to 30 seconds per map, but if you want to see it, go ahead. So what I'll do is I'll show the images on the screen and I'll give you the description that has been said. So the first map is Bannerfall and the description that comes with this is This map should be recognisable to most Destiny players since it is set on the tower that is similar to the one players congregate on in between missions. This tower, however, is set on the other side of the city and has long been abandoned. Bannerfall is a good mid-sized map well suited to matches of control and its symmetry works well for rift matches. A large open courtyard evokes the memory of an actual guardian tower while an angled back alley offers a sneaky path to victory. And what Destiny had to say about this, what Bungie had to say about this is at one time there was a fourth faction that held court in this tower along with the beginnings of a new monarchy faction. You can see that the banners on each side of the map. On one side you will see the familiar new monarchy logo, but on the other one you'll see an unfamiliar logo that is still tattered and torn from when the faction used to exist. Now before I go on to the next map, I want to kind of expand on that. If you watched my last video within the gear and stuff, you'll see that I actually posted a new green gear for the hunter, and if you haven't seen that, I'll upload it here now. And as you can see on the screen, it's like a new blue and green faction, which maybe this forgotten faction is a new faction in Destiny, and that's what it is. It's green and blue gear. I've seen it on some guns as well, so I'm guessing it is. Moving on to the next map, this is called Frontier, and the description that comes with this is as follows. This is another map set far out on the city perimeter of Earth. The location is a transfer slash relay station. Shuttling supplies to other perimeter stations such as the Twilight Gap map from the original release of Destiny. Frontier is a semi-symmetric map built around a train yard. A train track cuts through the middle of the map and runs across a bridge, which is a central landmark for the map and a bottleneck for snow combat. Frontier features a lot of good sniper sight lights and has a good mix of open and closed spaces for firefights. It's also a showcase rift map. And what Bungie had to say about this was one of the landmarks on the map is a little gondola platform, which is actually the same gondola you see in the Twilight Gap. This idea is that the two maps are connected to each other. In the sky box you can actually see that from the little outpost in the mountains. Now this, if I look at it, I can't remember what the map's called. There was a map on Earth, you all know what I'm on about. It's the, like, the main map on Earth where you've got the little castle at the back right corner. And then you've got the pipes in the middle and stuff where all this stuff is. And then right in the back on the left there's another like broken down castle walls there. That's what this reminds me of. And it actually reminds me of the second one as well. Yeah, you can just see how they link all together. Now if we move down again, we'll go on to one called Crossroads. And the description is as follows. The Vex structure on Mars is one of only two maps featuring teleporters. Crossroads is an overgrown with a giant vegetation that formed on Mars in the wake of a traveller's arrival. This map is a really good showcase for Mayhem matches, which I'm presuming is a new mode. I don't remember seeing Mayhem, so yeah, let's follow on. Since it allows players to launch themselves into the air and teleport away while their special attacks quickly recharge, the main body of the map is separated from a smaller island rechargeable by launchers. Fights here tend to be chaotic. And this is what Bungie had to say for it. It's an interesting mix of the familiar Vex architects that leans a little bit more towards metallic instead of crumbled stone. And there are giant rotted out tree stumps that provide some good cover. It's almost two maps because there is an entire chunk that functions as its main body where the team spawns. And then there is a separate island that is a gnarled mess of trees and roots set way off to the side. They're connected via launchers that catapult you across the map as well as three sets of teleporters. Now, I've seen this map for a lot around YouTube and these little blue things here, you walk into them and you get zapped off to somewhere else. I don't know if that, I think they might be the teleporters because launchers won't teleport you. So they'll be the teleporters. I'm not sure what the launchers are, but as soon as I have more information about that, I'll let you know. 
And moving on to the next one, this one is called Sector 618. And the description is as follows. Clumsy guardians could easily find themselves falling to death whilst crossing Sector 618's various floating platforms. Expect a lot of leaping and platforming. Sector 618 features a square layout that has two bridges crossing a central chasm and it is the new PlayStation 4's exclusive map. So I'm sorry Xbox, this won't call out to you, this is just for us PlayStation 4 players. I'm guessing PlayStation 3 or is it just, it might just be PlayStation 4 because it's not said anything about PS3 yet but we'll see when it releases. The, the map is set inside the Cosmodrome wall, so it should feel familiar to anyone who recalls Destiny's early story mission that has players facing off against an advancing tide of fall and slipping through the darkness. And what Bungie had to say about this was, The core footprint of the map is the square created by the bridges. We wanted players to take advantage of all the movement opportunities with the all platforms. You have these two bridges, but on either side you have these multi-stage jump routes where you can platform up to the high bridge and then jump along the side to get dropped onto another player. We wanted to give players a lot of different ways to move throughout the interesting ways. Now, yeah, when I first looked at this, if you call back to, we'll say, the first mission, the very first mission you do in Destiny and you run through the back, that's what this reminds me of, where you got to um, go past all them trip mines and stuff and you get your first weapon. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, moving on, the next one is called Go Ship, and this is the description. This is the first crucible map set in the reef. The Go Ship is actually a falling ship that fell after a hive attack, the smallest map in the Taken King. Go Ship features a symmetrical layout, however, one side of the ship has been torn apart by a hive attack and various debits float through the one side of the ship, which helps give players a sense of who they are. Of where they are, sorry. Ghost ship shines in the smaller matches with fewer people, and this is Bungie's take on it. Ghost ship features some low gravity effects, so dead guardians and other objects will slowly float away. One of my favourite things in this map is when someone is running through one of the tiny little vent connections and then they get killed and another player and wrapped all out into the hall. It tells a little story by itself. Now that, I cannot wait to be doing that. Imagine just shooting someone and all of a sudden they just float in the air. That'll be absolutely epic. I can see some good funny videos coming out of this. People recording certain clips, adding music and stuff to it. I can definitely see it coming from this map. Anyway, moving on. The next map is called X-Style and I think we all know where this is set, but I'll read the description. This hive prison cell sits inside one of Oryx's ships that orbits Saturn. Players will recognise the architecture and detail work from Oryx's Dreadnought. X style is a little bit is a little bit longer and narrower than most crucible maps and is strong for both control and clash mode. The lower level adds a vertical element to combat while a complicated maze of corridors leads to some violent conflicts as you take corners. And this is what Bungie had to say about it. There are three main lanes throughout the map. There is a bridge side that takes you out past the window that shows you Saturn and some other ships in Oryx fleet. Down the middle of the map is a ramp that takes you through a circular room with a crystal ball in it. In that room is a drop down which allows you to enter a lower catacomb level. Now I've seen this lower catacomb level, it's basically an orange crystal. And it's, do you know when you do Crota's End and you've just got past the bridge and you pass the two, um, sh oh I forgot what they're called on this thing, uh, the sky. And there's that little circle that you jump down. It's like that circle but an extremely smaller one with a crystal in the middle. So, if you've done the glitch, actually, of when you get to the witches, where you jump around the back of the map and outside and on top of the crystal, it looks exactly like that, just without the metal gate around. So, moving on again, and this one straight away, as soon as I seen it, I was like, is this just Widow's Court from House of Wolves? It's just, just a remake of it, but it's not. I'll read the description out to you. This map is called Memento. This map returns plays to the European Dead Zone that was first shown off in the Widow's Court map released within the House of Wolves DLC. The core of the map is an overgrown street tucked in between two larger buildings, all set with a roughly triangular shape. In the middle is a larger courtyard that is angled down and provides some cyan light blocking. The, this is another good control slash clash map, but its moderate size means it also plays well in smaller team modes. And this is what Bungie had to say about it. Memento is a much more vertical than Widow's Court. There is one building in Widow's Court that has an elevation shift, but Memento has a couple of significant elevation shifts where you can get some really good strong high pound ground advantages. Now yeah, if you looked at that map 
and you didn't think straight away that's Widow's Court, then maybe you need to go and play the map some more, or unless you don't have the DLC, but instantly I thought, is this just a remake, or is this going to extend Widow's Court and make it bigger, but it's not, it's an entirely new map, so I can't wait to get onto that one. And this leads us to the final map of the eight, and this one is called Vertigo. Now this has to be my favourite map out of all of them. I don't know, it just... It's the one that stood out to me straight away. The Bannerfall I like because it reminds me of the tower, but this one is the fact that you can fight on top there, you can fight underneath here, and God knows what else is within the map because this is only a still image. Anyway, this is what the description says. In Vertigo, Guardians take another trip back to Mercury to fight on a Vex structured high in the sky above, this yellow planet. At one time, a Cabal expedition force began exploring the structure but the group mysteriously vanished and hasn't been seen since. The odd cabal bolted on architectures add some variety to both sides of the symmetrical map. And this is what Bungie had to say about it. One of the key features of the map is a one-way one teleport that splits players out on a really powerful platform on the other side of the map. This the platform gives you great coverage on both ends of the map and really opens up interesting gameplay moments. Vertigo's one central control room is really cru crucial and gives you fast access to anywhere on the map. Now, I didn't even have to read that description to know that this is going to be my favourite map out of all of them. I'm excited about the ghost ship because I've never been on a, firm, a reef map before. Bannerfall, like I said, yeah, I like because that's only because of the architecture and how it looks because um, I know that place. Well, it's not the exact same, but I know. And then I think, was it called... Crossroads, yeah, it was Crossroads. That's got the teleporters, which I'll find pretty school, cool. But overall, I've got to say that Vertigo is my map that I'm going to go to. It's a shame that Bungie haven't got a way where you can pick which map you play on because then you can always have your favourite maps instead of getting given crap maps that you don't like. But anyway, that gives it to an end today. I just wanted to let you know about the new eight Crucible maps that are coming in, the Taken King. I know I'm excited. I don't know what about you. But if you're excited... Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because every single day I'll be on websites finding new leaks for you and they'll be on my channel straight away. I've never been wrong if you watch any of my previous videos. Sometimes it might have been a day late, but it's thing and there's just one thing I want to do before I go. Now, once when I post my videos on other people's like uh, forums, like Destiny forums and stuff. There's always people there that want to call you and want to say you're trying to copy someone or try and cause trouble. Right, for one, I might not be DPJ or more console because they've been doing it a lot longer than me, but it does not mean that I'm copying their content. We are all getting this content from the same sources. We're all going on Game Informer and everyone's getting the same thing. There's probably another 50 to 100 channels that are about to do this video today. But it doesn't mean I've copied off them, and it doesn't mean that they've copied off me. It's just whoever has the more spare time gets it there first. Like someone did it, I think, was it 11? I know it was 12 hours ago. I was asleep then. It was like 2 or 3 in the morning for me in the UK, and I was asleep. But it doesn't mean I'm copying. It just means it's my time to do it now. So, yeah, I was just wanting to say that because I'm sick of the people that are constantly disliking my video for no reason when everything I'm saying is right. Everything I'm giving you is true and I'm trying to get up to the top because I know I can do this. Yeah, I just wanted to address that because there's constantly people commenting on my videos, who do you think you are, another DPJ, and I'm having to delete constant comments. I don't think I'm DPJ and I don't think I'm more console. I watch both them guys and both of them guys are the people that inspired me to start Destiny. If you look back on my channel, I used to be Call of Duty and stuff like that. Call of Duty, Zelda, Sonic, Mario... And then I saw these guys and I thought, do you know what? I freaking love Destiny, so why not just post videos every day? I learnt where to get all the leaks. I bought some equipment and I learnt how to make videos. So all I ask is that if you don't like the video, just you can dislike it, but just don't comment down below because I'm just going to delete your comment anyway. I'm not going to let haters get to me. I'm still going to carry on every day. I could get five views a day and I'll still carry on because I enjoy doing this. So anyway, I know that was a massive rant. I know I'm extremely sorry about that. If you're a fan of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, on Monday morning, I will be giving one of you a code. Now, I did put it in my last video, but this video is going to be the same. If you want the code, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below why you want the Black Ops 3 code. Maybe it's just because you don't want to buy the game yet. 
so you can test it out. Or maybe it's just the fact that you're not really a big Call of Duty fan and you want to get into it. Whatever your reason is, comment it down below. And on Monday morning, I have one code that's all, it's only for PS4, Xbox One, or Steam. So you need to comment what console you want it on. Actually, no, you pick what console you want it on. I'll give you instructions, but I'll send one of you the code. At first, I was just going to put it in the description, but there's no point, you'll be fighting over it. So one person will win that code. Anyway, so that will leave today's video at an end. Later on today or tomorrow morning, I'm going to have more weapons and more enemy species on my channel, The Destiny. And if you like the video, guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, Guardians.